welcome to competitive engineering this is our fourth lecture in this lecture i am going to explain in detail about various matrices and uh, their determinants in in our previous lectures we covered the concepts of matrices and the properties of determinants you can find the lectures here so in this lecture i am going to cover the types of matrices types and how to find the determinant of those matrices so i am going to the concept the first type of matrix that i am covering is upper triangular matrix upper triangular <laughs> matrix okay what is mean by an upper triangular matrix in the matrix if the lower diagonal elements are zero then it is called an upper triangular matrix so what is lower diagonal elements a matrix this is a diagonal 1 2 3 this is the above diagonal this part is above the diagonal and this is the below diagonal so if these elements are present and these elements are zero then it is called this is present and this is zero then it is called upper triangular because the upper part is present and in the reverse direction that the upper part contains zero this is zero and this is non zero then it is called lower triangular matrix lower triangular this is upper triangular i will explain with example in matrix a equal to 12345006 in this matrix this one is the diagonal and this is the upper part so it is an upper triangular matrix upper triangular matrix so we are interested in the determinant of this matrix so in this kind of matrix the determinant is equal to determinant of a equal to the product of its diagonal no need to worry about finding diagonal finding determinant it is just the product of diagonal 1 into 4 into 6 that is 24 24 okay in case of an upper triangular matrix upper triangular matrix means the diagonal elements the elements below the diagonal are all all zero that is these all are zeros then the determinant of the matrix is the product of its diagonal element 1 into 4 into 6 that is 24 okay then we are going to cover the lower triangular lower triangular triangular matrix let b equal to what will be a lower triangular matrix 1 2 no 1 0 0 2 0 3 0 4 this will be some number 1 and 3 1 c 1 let it be no don't make confusion okay this is 1 okay in this matrix all the elements above the diagonal are zero and the below the diagonal are non zero so this matrix is called lower triangular matrix so what will be the determinant it is same as that upper triangular matrix that is product of its diagonal elements that is 1 into 0 2 into 1 that is 1 into 2 into 1 that is 2 this 1 into this 1 into this 2 into this 1 that is product of its diagonal elements okay next we are going to cover 
a diagonal matrix so what is a diagonal matrix a matrix in which the non diagonal elements are zero so matrix will look like 1 0 0 0 3 0 0 0 5 this is 0 okay so in this matrix let it be a in this matrix all the ele other elements other than diagonal is 0 so it is called a diagonal matrix as the name shows the diagonal matrix means only diagonal elements present so what will be the determinant the rule is same that is the product of its diagonal elements 1 into 3 into 5 1 into 3 into 5 that is 15 okay so I'm going to tell you about scalar matrix scalar matrix scalar matrix scalar matrix is a special case of diagonal matrix special special diagonal in which all the diagonal elements are same so what will be the case let a equal to 1 uh, let it be 2 2 0 0 0 what will come here 2 why because all the diagonal elements are same 0 0 0 2 let us write another one b equal to what will be I'm taking it 7 then what will be the matrix 7 0 0 0 7 0 0 0 7 so what will be the determinant of this matrix we are interested in that so determinant will be same as the product of the diagonal the rule is same that is 2 into 2 into 2 what is 2 into 2 into 4 4 into 2 8 this is 8 this one 7 into 7 into 7 that is 7 into 7 into 7 that is 49 into 7 it is simple so I am going to cover one more matrix which we all know called identity matrix it's a diagonal matrix diagonal matrix and a scalar matrix but the diagonal elements are equal to 1 means identity matrix is a special diagonal it is a diagonal matrix means all the non diagonal elements are 0 and this is a scalar matrix means all the diagonal elements are same another thing is that all the diagonal elements are 1 only so what will be how it look like that is 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 it is a 3 into 3 identity matrix it is generally denoted with the letter i okay so what will be the 2 into 2 identity matrix 1 0 0 1 so the rule is same for finding the determinant that is product of its diagonal elements 1 into 1 into 1 that is 1 1 into 1 1 means whether the identity matrix is of order n i n then means i into i n into n its determinant will be always 1 why because the product is always 1 so with this we are concluding this lecture we will continue other properties of the determinant in the next lecture if you like this video series please subscribe to our channel competitive engineering and you can visit our website also www.competitiveengineering.com you can find the link in the video and in the video description also so if you like the video please subscribe us and support us 
थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग द वीडियो हैव ए नाइस डे